All right, welcome to another episode. What I'd like to show you here is a resource-rich base, something that can serve as, well, a main base or a main starting base. Notice I've got oxygen and I've got rusted metal here. So this base has access to oxygen and oxygen can be refined into carbon and rusted metal refines to ferrite which are the two basic resources. Now beside having the rusted metal mines I also before making the mine I was able to stick the autonomous mining units onto here and that lets me gather um, more rusted metal. Basically turn carbon into rusted metal. <clears throat> I have some carbon sources here. You can see off in the distance there that this base also has access to power. This battery down here serves as the hub for that power. And then it feeds the power up into here and it connects to other batteries. The save beacons mark where there were metal fingers and there's also floating crystals that sometimes appear over here. Notice the metal fingers. There's plenty of dihydrogen and groups of condensed carbon. There are groups of metal fingers around the base where you can get uranium and gold. Uranium can be used to charge your radiation and uh, it's useful for building some things and uh, for some stuff with the starship. You can also autonomous mine the silver. Um, I'm mining rusted metal, oxygen, I've got metal fingers at various locations, they're floating crystals sometimes, notice the oxygen and the sodium nitrate and the dihydrogen as well. And I consider this a model of uh, a resource-rich base, one base that supplies a lot of different stuff, and you could run all kinds of autonomous mining units. You could put, say, beacons near things that are close by that are good for the base. And if you look in this planet, uh, there's low numbers of security 
um, on the planet. And, you know, it's kind of nice. I could probably build way up into outer space here because it doesn't look like there's clouds. Thank you for watching.